When I was 16 years old, I started working in radio. And a couple months into the gig, some guy starts pounding on my door. I open the door and there is a shotgun pointed straight at my face. And I didn't know what the hell to do. I was in shock. And he very slowly lowered the barrel of his shotgun and said, you're the one that's sleeping with my wife? Now, like I said, I was 16. I said, no, sir, I haven't slept with anybody. And I'd like to be able to do that one day. <laughs> Please don't kill me. And he sat down, he put his shotgun down and he says, I don't understand. My wife said that she was sleeping with Eric Ashley, which was the name that my program director had given me. And I said, sir, I, I promise you, I've, I haven't slept with anybody. And he goes, I believe you <laughs> because I looked like a kid, you know, I was a kid and I was not the best looking kid in the world. I'm still not the best looking man in the world, but I, it was just shocking to me. Well, I was telling this story to friends of mine where when we're at a football game in Westlaco, Texas, and my best friend, Danny Leal, was amongst the people that I was with. And he said, Sam, that was me. I slept with this married lady and, and told her my name was Eric Ashley and that I worked at KGAR Radio. He's like, you motherfucker. I was so angry at him. But I've known Danny for about 50 years. I was best man at his wedding. He's been there with me through thick and thin. He was at my first stand-up comedy act. And he was there with me in my toughest times. And yes, he even almost got me killed. Today is his birthday. Happy birthday, Danny Leal. Welcome to 57, my brain. I love you.